and welcome to my story channel again well it's been quite a few weeks in fact it's been a few months since I last sort of gave you a, a story or, or shared a story with you in terms of things that have happened in my life over the years um, and I thought I'd use this particular opportunity to go back on a few stories that um, I shared well over a year ago because um, there are a few people who enjoyed them I know my my grandson uh, Matthew, he's, he, he's apparently um, followed some of my early retail stories. Um, so I'd like to just show snippets of some of these older videos that I've, that I've been making and telling stories about. Um, this, I'm not gonna sh share the whole thing, so don't worry folks, don't run away. I'm, go <laughs> I'm not going to take you down a long laborious road of history in the life of me. Um, I'm going to pick it up with, um, I'm telling a story about my, my time in retail in the UK before I actually went to South Africa um, and I'm describing my first store relief where I've, um, I've already arrived at the store, the store manager of that particular store has handed the store over to me, he's going on holiday and he's given me a list of instructions and one of those instructions as I've done the floor walk with him and gone through the whole store is in the toilets there was a toilet that was um, needed some attention from a plumber who was going to be coming in so this is where you pick up this story have a look at this so about <clears throat> two days into my into my um, store relief in Rushton there I am standing behind the checkouts arms behind my back in my smart suits uh, just checking the visuals of the store making sure everything's okay and we're, we're just open the store and customers are starting to filter in and in walks the the regional manager uh, his name was was Gordon Head I, I can I can see his face now and remember it now he was the one who asked me please go and relieve in Rushton and of course, you say, hello, Mathers, and uh, how are things, and what's going on? And I, fine, you know, everything's okay, it's for my first relief, I'm, everything's under control, no problem. Um, he says, right, well, right, young man, let's go on a floor walk, Let, let's have a look around your business. So off we go, and he doesn't start off in the, on the floor, he goes upstairs to the stockroom. <clears throat> and just as we're getting into the stockroom, there's the toilets on the right-hand side. In he goes to, to, I thought, okay, he's going to the toilet. So I didn't follow him, he says, come on in. So I, I follow him in, and he says, uh, what's wrong with this toilet? And I said, well, it's, uh, it's blocked, and we're waiting for the plumber. And he looked at me a bit amazed. Waiting for the plumber? And I said, yes. So he opens the cubicle and goes in, and he says, and he, <laughs> I said, okay, go in. And we looked down, and there's a, you know, there's a, well, you can imagine what it looks like. I mean, the, there was a little bit of swearing going on from his side while this was happening. I'm not going to talk, do the swearing. And he's looking down at this horrible mess, lots of toilet paper and, and, and other stuff all down there. And it's, you know, you can see it's been, someone's attempted to flush it and they've caused more mess by the looks of it he said you're waiting for the plumber and he said and how much will that cost and i thought well god well he didn't tell me that the manager he just anyway i i, I by this stage i didn't have an answer because i could feel where this was going anyway while he's talking to me about waiting for the plumber he's now he's got a nice black pinstripe suit in ma far better than mine well cut he, I think he got his in Savile Row whereas I got mine in Woolworths <laughs> he's taking off his his jacket and he's hanging it on the door of the cubicle he's now unbuttoning his waistcoat and he's taking that off and he's tucking his tie into his shirt now he's taking off gold cufflinks and he's rolling up his sleeves and I'm looking, and he says, I'll show you how to clean out a toilet, young man. And the next thing, he's got his hand down in the toilet, and his arm is right up to the 
top of the bolt and he's going like this okay and he pulls it out and it's just absolutely I don't want to hope no one's eating or anything and it's anyway does this a couple of times flushes and the toy is clear and he then he's in the sink and he's washing his arm off with soap and water it's a bit you know and he's saying that's the way to clean a toilet young man that's the way well that that was probably one of my first valuable lessons in retailing <clears throat> nothing to do with retailing but it was a it was a valuable lesson in life in terms of getting jobs done and well that's all i'm going to share with you today um if you want to follow my my stories and my life in in uh, in uh, various parts of the world you just go onto my youtube channel and go to the relevant playlist and it will give you a whole uh, library of videos I've made um, over the last year that have you know got information in them I am going to be enhancing it and developing it as I get better equipment um, and better lighting equipment and better microphone sound equipment this will be enhanced further and I hope to bring other people into the conversations and discussions who are sitting in other parts of the world so I could have discussions with various people sitting in the Middle East, in South Africa, in the Far East and so on and around the UK so that we can share these stories together on on my YouTube channel. Got to keep it clean, we it's a family show um, so it can't be, um, you know, we can't get into into uh, a language that doesn't fit all, all parties because as I said my grandchildren even watch these videos as do others, I'm sure. Anyway, talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.